so we talked a little bit yesterday about how, you know, a bunch of ADA whales are accumulating during this time. And there was a comment and I think it's worth talking about because it actually made, you know, a good point. Good, good question. Basically, Jaw said, I don't believe what you're saying. If indeed whales are making massive purchases of ADA, then why are we not seeing any significant spike in volume? I think volume has been sitting under a billion for close to a year now. That's what he said. So this actually raises a good point. And the psychology of whales is not the same as, as us traders, right? When we see, you know, these, these, you know, the volume every single day, the on-chain volume, we expect to see that when whales are buying that there's these huge spikes. Okay. And that, it's just typically not the case. Okay. Whales could be spending, you know, a million, two million, three million, you know, nothing crazy, not necessarily enough to move the needle. But what typically happens is when these whales buy, the smaller retail investors like us actually come in. We are the ones that cause the increases in volume because we see, hey, you know, a whale bought, something's happening, we need to buy. And then you see these big, you know, spikes, right? And actually, I'm I'm a firm believe firm believer of when in doubt, zoom out. You can see when these spikes actually do happen. And here's the thing, all right? Whales, they don't want these big increases in volume. They don't want these big spikes in price. During these times, during these bear markets, they're trying to accumulate as much as possible with really without drawing as too much attention to themselves, okay? Cardano is at a uh, kind of a unique point, all right? You know, I've made the analogy before. Cardano is a baby. It, you know, it's it's starting to crawl right now, and eventually, it's going to grow into a full blown teenager that's driving and applying for college and all this stuff. But right now, we are still in the early stages. Okay, not not like we were years ago when Cardano was still being figured out. But 2023 is a year where everything is kind of coming together, and these whales know this. They're trying to take their position before. USDA is launched before Hydra is launched before midnight is launched before, you know, the world mobile, uh, partnership with, with, um, uh, Cardano in Africa is really underway, you know, before all these other side chains are developed. Okay. That's, that's the thing you got to remember these whales, they don't want to trigger any of these crazy, you know, spikes and increases in price. Unfortunately, that's what's happened this year for them. You know, we've seen the price run up, so they can't accumulate as cheap as they have been, but that's why you won't necessarily see these huge these huge uh, increases in volume even when whales are accumulating. Oh, and by the way, actually, if you zoom out to we we hit almost a billion dollars almost every single month, I think, except for uh, December. So the spikes have been there. You know, th- there's going to be spikes in volume. They may not be as high as you want to see, but that will come with time. There's going to be a time where Cardano is so ingrained in people's mind where it's in everybody's face that volume may consistently be above a billion dollars. I think that is going to be a, you know, there's going to be a time where that's happened. I mean, I think we've had days where Cardano has actually been over like $20 billion in transactions. I believe if we look back all the way here, yeah, somewhere in there, 15, $20 billion in in transactions in a single day. So we'll see those days again. I'm a firm believer that as always, this is not financial advice, but I thought this made a good talking point. Right now, whales are trying to take up their position, but they're trying to do it under the radar. They don't necessarily want you to know what's going on. The great thing about uh, you know most crypto transactions that, is that they're done, uh, maybe not most, but a lot of crypto transactions are done on chain so we can see what they're doing, and that may give us a little indication as to what they're, what they're planning. So appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully, you guys have a wonderful day, and I really hope to catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for the support, and we'll see you soon.